Welcome to Living Supernaturally. It's good to have you here where we look at the Word of God, study the Word of God and apply the Word in our lives. Um, today we're going to look at uh, the word walk and how scripture, in scripture we see many exhortation instructions about how to walk and how not to walk. Of course we see, uh, we know that uh, to walk refers to how we regulate our life, how we conduct ourselves and uh, the whole aspect of living our lives. So it's not just the physical aspect of walking, but how we live our life when scripture instructs about walking. Um, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 7 and 8, this is what we read. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, yes, well pleased rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. So Paul makes that statement, well, we walk by faith and not by sight. In Hebrews 11, 1, we know what faith is. Faith is the substance or the realization of things hoped for and the evidence or the confidence of things that are yet not seen. So uh, why or how is it that Paul says that we walk by faith and not by sight? When we look at the context, uh, and the background leading up to this statement that Paul makes, um, we, we go back to the previous chapter, which is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and, and then we read this in verse 8, where Paul says, We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body right so he's saying you know we are we're going some difficult times we are hard-pressed we are perplexed we are um, uh, persecuted but we are not forsaken he's saying we carry about in us the dying of the Lord the whole aspect of the death, the burial of the Lord, that the life of the Lord may also be manifested in our body. So there's something happening. He's got this internal perspective that the life of Jesus is in me. The resurrection power is in me. The Zoe God kind of life is in me. And we are carrying this treasure in, in this earthen vessel. So he was very strong in that, saying that the life of Jesus will be manifested in my body. And also we see further down in verse 16 of chapter 4, 2 Corinthians, it says, therefore we do not lose heart. Even though we might be perplexed, even though we might be persecuted, even though we might be hard pressed, saying therefore we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. Again, talking about, about the spirit, talking about the God kind of life, the Zoe kind of life, God kind of life that he has in him. And he says in verse 18, 2 Corinthians 4, while we do not look at things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So he's talking about the eternal perspective that he has and, um, and the reality of the spiritual realm. The fact that he's confident about those things, the reality, he's saying that we look at things that are unseen because the things that are seen are temporary. The things that are unseen, the spiritual realm, is actually the eternal realm. And that gives him great confidence. So we, he says, even if this tent is destroyed, we have a building from God. And therefore he says, we walk by faith and not by sight. Let's pray. Father God, today enable us to walk by faith and not by sight. Enable us to see those things that are unseen. Enable us to be grounded in the reality of the spiritual realm, O oh God. Lord, enable us to know that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Enable us to know, O oh God, that the life of Christ is in us, giving life to our mortal bodies. And Lord, so we can proclaim and declare we walk by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name, Amen.
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.